Let's talk about another approach, divide and conquer. Intuitively, the idea of this algorithm comes from the associative property of LCP operation. We notice that LCP S1 to Sn is equal to LCP of S1 to SK is LCP and SK plus 1 to Sn's LCP. Well, LCP S1 to Sn is the longest common prefix in the set of string S1 to Sn and 1 is less than k, k is less than n. To apply the observation above, we use divide and conquer technique. Well, we split the LCP SI to SJ problem into two sub problems LCP SI to S middle and LCP S middle plus 1 to SJ. Well, the middle is i plus j divided by 2. We use the solutions LCP left and LCP right. To construct the solution of the main problem LCP SI to SJ, to accomplish this, we compare one by one the characters of LCP left and LCP right till there is no character match. This found common prefix of LCP left and LCP right is the solution of LCP SI to SJ. Let's analyze its complexity. In the worst case, we have n equal strings with length m. So the time complexity is O of s. Well, s is the number of all characters in the array. s equal to m multiplied n. The time complexity is 2 times t of n divided by 2 plus O of m. Therefore, the time complexity is O of s. In the best case, the algorithm performs O of minimal length multiplied by n comparisons. Well, minimal length is the shortest string of the array. And the space complexity is O of n multiplied log n. There is a memory overhead since we store recursive cores in the execution stack. There are log n recursive cores. Each store needs m space to store the result. So the space complexity is O of n multiplied log n. Let's implement the algorithm in Python. First, we need to judge if the length of strings is 0. Means 0 means there's no element inside it. We just return an empty string. And we can start our recursive call. First, we return a self dot division, divide, and strings first parameter, and then is the first element, index 0. The last element is the index of length of strings minus 1. And we need to divide the divide, divide. So the parameter is self, strings, L, and R. L, for, L is the L pointer, R for R pointer. So it points from the left, leftmost and rightmost. So every time the R is moved to the right side, R is moved to the left side. If L is R, it means that overlap. If they are overlapped, the two points are overlapped, we just return the strings at L. And the else means they are not equal. If they are not equal, then every time we need to count the middle is L plus R. Follow division, follow division divided by 2. And uh, we said uh, LCP. LCP is our left side, uh, left side strings, left side array dot divide. So we need to do a recursive call again. L to L for leftmost to the middle, and LCP right is recursive call again. Call the divide from strings and uh, middle plus 1 to the rightmost r. So then we need to recursive call another uh, function, a self dot. We can conquer, now that conquer. Just pass the value from LCP left and LCP right. Then we can start 
we define a conquer. Conquer we have parameter self left left parameter to hold the value from LCP left right parameter to hold the value from LCP right then we declare a m variable for for hold the minimum of the length of the left side and the length of the right side so which is the smaller will pass the value to m so this m is actually for track the uh, pointer for i in range m so m is the we at the i can pass i is the every time increment by one right but it can pass m if, if, if it passed m so if it is the past m then we then run out of them we just return we just return the left uh, from zero to m right because the i is uh, reached the n the, so that means the minimum, the minimum, the which one is the minimum one is all the all the character is the same. So another case is if the left at i is not equal to right at i, that means uh, even if they are at the same uh, the same uh, position, same index, but they are not the same. This time we just return left at uh, zero to i, cut into silence until the i, until the i, because they are not, they are not the same. So before the i, the, the last element is i minus one, right? So we finish, we can run them again. Oh, unmatched, unmatched. Yeah, that works. That is how it works.